Hey guys, it's me, Ichiko Kurosaki. I've gotten something I've wanted for a very long time now. I've gotten a driving set for PS4. So, um, the features, this steering wheel, first thing I gotta say, has a lot of feedback force. If you guys are familiar with what that is. So, like, when I brake, I lose control. It's like a real steering wheel. It's, you know, it starts to move around like your, like your wheels and stuff. Here, let me disconnect it quickly. And just for one second. And reconnect it. So you guys can see it calibrate. Just one second. I just didn't plug it in all the way. Sorry. It's the hard part. I'm sorry, guys. There we go. So you see, like, um, so that's how you know it's been calibrated. Um, we have the shifters right here. Um, we have the acceleration, brake, and clutch pedals. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. My, dis my controller has been disconnected. I'll fix that. And it was very easy to, um, to connect. All you got to do is USB it, and there you go. Um, so, yeah. Like I said, it has a lot of feedback for us. Let me sit this down for a second so that way you guys can see. I want to make sure it's so you can see me and the television. All right. Turn on the lights in here. All right. So I'm going to switch to my favorite car. That I own in the crew too. That's the main reason why I brought this was for the crew too. I don't know if it'll work with my other racing games. I already know it does not work with Need for Speed. So if anyone's looking to buy this for Need for Speed, Payback, or any Need for Speed games, it does not work. I just thought I'd let you guys know that before you buy one and it doesn't work. There's my car. You can see it's a little crashed up. I got to get used to this, but you know, overall, it's not bad, so, um, here we go. Yeah, see the feedback force is starting to come. I just put it got a little hard there. I'm getting used to this. I'm gonna get the hang of it. Shit. <laughs> See, like, yeah. Um, there is different settings that you can do. So this, what I have it on right now. If you just go to your um, options menu. They'll have wheel controls, and you can decide how much feedback you want, um, whether the gearbox is automatic, how you want the steering to be, you know. So yeah, it's a bunch, you know, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with it. I would definitely highly recommend. Now, before I do, oh wait, what am I doing? Sorry, before I do a full-on review with this, I have to be careful that some people were saying theirs didn't last more than three months. So I'm going to try and wait three months and see if mine lasts that long. <laughs> Hopefully it will. You know, but right now I have no complaints. You know, I'm just moving it again so that way you guys can see it one more time. So yeah, for privacy reasons, I'm not going to tell you guys how much I spent for it. Just because that's really none of your business, no rudeness intended. But I will tell you. Um, the company name is Thrustmaster. Um, so Thrustmaster 3000 Gran Turismo Edition. So type that in on Amazon and get yourself one. All right. So that's my video, guys. You know what I'm gonna say like, dislike, comment, whether it's positive or negative. Like I say always, as long as you give me feedback, I'm good. Ichigo Kurosaki's out. Peace.